Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder aboard a beautiful Italian fighter aircraft, the C202D Folgore. And this battle rating 2.3 rank 2 premium fighter is the first reward for the pilots, which you can earn yourself in the ongoing Operation Winter. The question is, is this thing worth it, or is it just something like a hangar decoration? I think if you really enjoy the low tier aspect and the fighter aspect, the purest form of fighting in War Thunder that there has ever been from the very start, this is an interesting aircraft. I love its flight performance, I love also its firepower which might be a little bit controversial as on paper it is really weak because we have only two 7.7 .7 Breda Safat machine guns with a thousand rounds of ammunition and two 12.7 mm Breda Safat machine guns with 800 rounds. But it's kind of the ammunition, whereas you should either go for Universal or Stealth for the 7.7s, it's up to you. For the 12.7s, you should go either for Air Targets or Stealth. And that is the reason because I don't know when this was added, because I didn't look at it for quite a while, but there is a high explosive fragmentation round in there and it seems to hit really hard and it seems to be really great in combination with the API shell. So you set a lot of fires, you do a lot of pilot snipes, but you also just blow enemies up. It's simple as that and I hope that I can provide you with good footage when it comes to the killing but also when it comes to the fighting. I'm sorry if there is from time to time a little bit of a delay between or a desynchronization between the footage and the sound. I try to compensate for it as much as possible, but something's really off with my recording software. Sorry for that. But yeah, as you can see, um, I'm fighting here the FIU 1A, the Japanese premium fighter, which is one of the most powerful machines at around this battle rating and frankly overpowered, well, even I got aces with that thing. <laughs> and uh, you can see I can hold myself quite well against it if you are not too cocky. So what you're looking at this aircraft is, you have no bombs, you have no rockets, you just have the sad armament, the sad, the mentioned armament, which is not that sad in effect. And you have a engine that has a maximum power of 1030 horsepower at least that it is listed with it also looks in the x-ray like an inverted v12 i guess but it's an alpha romeo ra 1000 rc 41 however i have the feeling that this is not just from the sound but also it's it's characteristics like a db601 right um, I don't know if this is bug, I don't know if this is as the plane was, but the combination of the flight model together with its power just leaves this in a very nice spot. Sure, there are aircraft that have more direct firepower, like what you can see here in my target. There are planes that turn faster, there are planes that probably climb faster, but the overall package is really nice with this aircraft. And I really, really love this because this plane is very similar to the normal C202 Folgore. And the first time that I played it was way back in 2013 when it was still part of the German tech tree before that got shoveled around, before Italy itself was even added. And I always liked the flight performance of this machine. I always thought to myself, well, maybe if just we have a little bit of a different armament, then this plane would be outright excellent. And therefore, in its consequence, it would be at a higher battle rating. So, I personally love this. It has a lot of style, it brings back a lot of memories, etc. But also objectively, the performance is really great. And the guns also do damage. But they are not like 20 millimeters, of course. And you never should really go into a head-on with it. You should probably go into a head-on, fire a couple of rounds and then roll out of the way before the enemy can spray you down. And you must not really take damage in this thing because then it loses quite a lot of its turning capabilities. 
it's more an energy fighter rather than a turn fighter or um, a real boom and zoomer although you can get to 700 kilometers per hour without ripping and that is just really great especially at this battle rating so as an example i have here the fight with the i-153 if i would go into a turn fight versus that thing i'd be mincemeat within seconds and here i try to just demonstrate the power of this plane i force him always to turn always to lose energy and i try to preserve it with some boom and zoom this is very basic but for new pilots this is the quintessence on how to take down such planes the problem with this tactic is well you require a lot of time and in a one versus one scenario you need to get into the fight with this energy advantage and with keeping it so this is a little bit of a textbook example don't get impatient don't get greedy and i think that your arch nemesis are probably planes that are either blessed with an air spawn since you have to start with the um from the airfield not with the airfield and there you can see i just roll out of the way and while he hits me i survive it it's not an engine hit i can kind of deal with that kind of damage not too critical and here um i might finish him but he does it also very nicely always goes straight through the ground to the ground not through the ground although he's russian so you never know and uh, i just zoom away and before he can um, get on my tail and spray me down i'm out of his effective weapon range so that's some basic combat if you're new to war thunder um or if you just don't know how to handle the different capabilities of planes here i got into the head-on but because i was much closer to the head-on and he had to turn into me i knew exactly where to uh, hit him also in this uh, scenario the message that there are no active players left that's kind of nonsense um, and Gaijin should really fix this also don't look at the silver line income because this is a test drive so it should be double that now i have an example for you how effective the armament is that's an f222.2 and those machines require a lot of firepower from time to time to take down unless you attack them from the front and you spray the cockpit down and there we go easy kill a lot of planes can do this but you require to do this like that never go on a plane's tail because from the rear the two 12.7s are not that great even though they have the ammunition that i told you they have and i always use air targets again so yeah there you can see it was a bit wobbly but we got away with it and again we try to keep that energy the speed of this thing once it gets to it is really a challenge for any other fighter at its battle rating without uh with without too many exceptions let's put it that way and when people try to turn they just lose an unnecessary amount of uh of speed and you just have all the power so the speed is your advantage Yeah, and there you could see the firepower in action. So the last example is here the Sunderland Mark V. A plane that I haven't played in a very long time, but oh my god, is it tanky. I tried to knock out his tail gunner. And while I knock out a gunner, it's sadly not that one. And so I get subsequently set on fire, but he was the last plane on the enemy team. So I kind of suicide attacked him eventually i'll take him down and that will be kill number three but you know i should not have attacked him like that uh, but he was on the way back to his airfield and in that specific case it would have taken me too long so the c202 d full glory beautiful plane beautiful performance the firepower is a bit uh, debatable but for me it was enough 
and that's it for me today so thanks for watching thanks for listening i hope you enjoyed this video this format of presentation why not give it a like for you it's just a click for me it means the world subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see more and as usual we will see each other on the waves on the battlefields and in the skies of warfare